so good evening team so before i just start the training i just want to add some points uh, so basically um, today i'll be providing you a brief about the sis module how our teachers can work on the sis module and the other one is the grade book module where you where uh, i'll tell you how to do the test creations and uh, how to enter the marks and everything so basically uh first i'll tell you how a teacher can log in in the system so for login in uh, you have to use a link that is bbps.myclassboard.com and the username and password will be shared by ridhima ma'am so please log in through bbps.myclassboard.com i'll just share my screen now uh so basically for different different classes there there are different different uh structures so uh first i'll explain according to the classes i'll explain the test creations how you will do it after that i'll explain how you can enter the marks from your end so, uh, second so 1 to 5 for class 1 to 5 the test creation is same so please make sure the steps which i am telling you have to follow the same steps for the test creation once you do the test creation from your end then only you can enter the marks so uh, how i do it please do it as the same because any small changes it will uh, reflect in the uh, report card of the term so so what i explain in this steps please note down it uh, and do it as it is uh, as i am showing it now first i'll just give a brief about the sis module so basically when you log in you are assigned with two modules that is sis module and grade book module sis means student information system where a teacher can view the student details in this sis module so Once you click on this uh, student details now, you will have a enrollments part. Under enrollments, you will have student details. Why we have given this? Because you can check whether all your students are updated from your end correctly or not. So please check it. So under SIS, when you go to enrollments, you will find student details option. So under student details, you can find your student details over here. so this is one option where you can check your student details uh so i'll just go to grade book module just go to grade book the tabs which i'm telling the points which i'm telling only those points uh, are important please make sure the points i'm telling you uh note down it and you have to do it as it is so once you go to grade book under grade book you will find test creation the first step is test creation there will be a tab here under grade book you will find a test creation or test marks entry tab so first step is you are doing a test creation just click on the test creation or test marks entry tab so once you click on it this page will appear so i have created class 1 test creation no need to create in class 1 i am creating in the class 1 okay so from class 2 to 5 the class teachers can create the test so i'll just show you here in this page go to create test for multiple subjects in the right side corner you will find the create test for multiple subjects click on that create test for multiple subjects once you click on create test for multiple subjects just you have to select the class that you are assigned this is for 1 to 5 classes the test creation select the class uh, select the section select the term as term 1 select the evaluation as evaluation 1 for now presently you are preparing evaluation 1 report card 
so uh, report so select only evaluation one select term one in that select evaluation one click on continue once you click on continue what you have selected here in the evaluation please enter in the test activity name as evaluation one that's it evaluation one test sequence number need to be one last date of marks entry you can keep your uh, wish you can keep the last date of marks entry accordingly last date of marks entry is nothing but suppose if you have uh, kept the date of august 30 till august 30 the teacher can enter the marks after august 30 the columns will be freeze they cannot enter the marks or edit the marks or delete the marks so please make sure what you are keeping the marks entry for last date after that here the maximum marks will be 20 the test is conducted for 20 marks please enter 20 marks so how many marks the test is conducted please enter the marks accordingly suppose so class 1 2 3 Yeah, for class one, two, three, uh, it is conducted for twenty marks, and even for class four and five. Okay, so maximum marks you please enter is as twenty. Minimum mark zero. Click on next. That's it. Only you have to enter, select the evaluation, continue. What you have selected here, enter the name here, same sequence number one. Keep a last date of marks entry. For how many marks you are conducting, enter that marks. In the minimum marks, enter it as zero. Then click on next. Once you click on next, come here. Select the classes here. Sorry, select the subjects for which subjects you are creating. So this creation you are creating it for all the subjects at one go. So please select the subjects for which subjects you are creating. The subjects you select here for only those subjects the test will be created. Okay. So these these uh, subjects I'm I have selected. I'll just click on next. And once I click on next, you will get a summary what subjects you have selected. So please review it whether you have selected all the subjects and click on save test. Once you click on save test, a test will be created. Where you can check that your test is created. Go back in this page. Select the class. Select the term. Select the evaluation here. Select the subject and click on get test. Or you can select all here. Click on get test. So once you click on get test, you can check it here that you have created the test here. So once the test is created, it will be visible like this. Done. So like this, you have to create the test one. Any doubts, ma'am? How to create a test for one to five classes? Uh, ma'am, uh, good evening. Good evening. What about uh, what about polytechnic subjects? Uh, you are entering the uh, grades, no, ma'am? Yes, yes. Uh, if you are entering the grades, ma'am. सेकेंड Ma'am, for the course scholastic grade entry, you have to go to grade book only. Under grade book, first you have to assign it. Okay. Under grade book, please click on assign course scholastic skills here. Okay. Once you click on assign, first you have to assign. Then only you can give a grade. Just go to under grade book, 
select assign course scholastic skills select the class select this course scholastic area select the term click on search so once you click on search your course scholastic a uh, parts will be visible select it okay just select it click okay. on save once you have assigned beside that only you will find a small checkbox man just select the checkbox for everyone it will be assigned okay 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 so like this you are assigning a course scholastic how you are giving a grade go to grade book under you will have a course scholastic grade entry option okay select that select you have to just select the class term part and in which part you are giving a grade select that skill enter the marks in assessment one search students will be visible okay this is one option to give the grades you have to just click on the blank space select the okay. grade from here or else here only you will have a bulk record saving option select that remote button click on search in one go you can just select the class at one uh, select the grade at once and click on bulk save the grade will be saved okay ma'am okay ma'am ma'am one more question is there yes. uh, there is a music and dance combined grade system is there so how we can uh, judge or uh, can get the grade you you are giving the grades only no ma'am for them yes ma'am but music and dance both subjects uh, different uh, yes 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 different okay yes if, yes if it is different ma'am yes because the uh, option in uh, in option na music and dance the same uh, in same column only one grade uh, system is there for music and dance both okay ma'am i'll just uh, keep it separately then okay, okay. you can okay. just select music or dance anything okay okay theek hai theek hai okay ma'am so any doubt in course scholastic assigning or grade entry part or um, and the test creation part was scholastic area for 1 to 5 classes 1 to 5 classes scholastic area course scholastic area is same for all the classes but i'm talking about the scholastic part of 1 to 5 which have told the test creation any doubts in this ma'am no doubts sir okay so this is about 1 to 5 classes Next comes is six to twelve. Everything the test creation is same for six to twelve classes. I'll just show you. Go to uh, same process under grade work. Please click on test creation. In this page, you will find a create test for multiple subjects. You will find a create test for multiple subjects. Select create test for multiple subjects. Select the class here. Select the term. Select the term one. Select the section. Select the term one. Select the evaluation as unit test one. Click on continue. Once you select unit test one and click on continue, what you have selected here? Only small difference from one to twelve. From one to five, you are entering evaluation one. But for uh, Six to twelve. You are entering unit test one. That's it. So enter the test activity name as unit test one. Sequence number will be one. Same. Set keep a last date of March entry. Maximum marks. Give a maximum marks of twenty. Minimum marks zero. Next. Select the subjects. For which subjects you are creating? Come down. Click on next. 
select uh, GK. Uh, once you select here, you have a GK computer science and yeah, GK computer science and physical education. Okay, so for these subjects, the maximum marks are twenty five. So for only these subjects, you uh, edit the maximum marks for as twenty five. You edit the maximum marks as twenty five. Please make sure for remaining subjects it is 20 and for GK computer science and physical education is 25. So please make sure you are editing the maximum marks for those subjects only. And please select the subjects for which subjects you are creating the test. Come down, click on next, check whether you have selected the subjects, check whether the maximum marks are correct, click on save test. Once you click on save test, Tests will be created. Term 1, select the evaluation, all, get test. In this, you have to just select the class, section, term 1, evaluation, all. Keep it as all. Click on get test. So, once you click on get test, you can check it here how many tests are created for you. So, for 6th and 7th, I have created the test. So, for the remaining classes, remaining teachers, you can create the test. Uh, why I am telling you because because if you create a double test again it will reflect wrongly in the grade book so please make sure how, uh, for one subject you are creating one test creation so I have created eight eight test creations for all the eight subjects one simple process just you have to come to grade book click on test creation click on create test for multiple subjects select the class section Term 1, Evaluation, Continue. Once you click on Continue, what you have selected here, please enter the same name in the test activity text area. Sequence number will be 1. Keep a last date of marks entry. Maximum marks is the out of marks you are conducting the test. Minimum marks, you can keep it as 0. Click on Next. Select the subjects you are creating the test and save test. Any doubts ma'am, how to create a test from the... Uh, for all the classes ma'am uh, please repeat the steps again and oh. uh, I th slightly slow sure. okay so so i can note oh. it down okay tell us after when we log in what we have to do first Sorry. Huh. Once you go to grade book, select test creation. Click on create test for multiple subjects. Select the class here. The, in the class which you are creating. Select the section. Select the term as term 1. Select the evaluation as unit test 1 or evaluation 1 for the respective classes. Click on continue. Once you click on continue, what you have selected here, enter the same in the test activity text area. Enter the same. I am entering the same. Unit test 1. Sequence number will be 1. Keep a last date of marks entry. Set a date of yourself. If you just keep a 31st July, till 31st July the teachers can enter the marks after 31st July they cannot so please make sure what date you are giving for the last date of marks entry maximum marks for how many marks you are conducting the test enter that marks minimum marks will be 0 just click on next once you click on next select the classes for, sorry select the subjects for which subjects you are creating suppose if it comes to uh, different subjects that is you are showing grades and that their marks are 25. You are, you are conducting the particular subject test marks for 25 marks. For that particular subject, please change the out of marks here. Please change the out of marks here. 
come down click on next check whether you have selected all the subjects check whether you have given the maximum marks correctly click on save test so once you click on save test test will be created where you can check that your tests are created go back in this page select the class which for which you have created the test select the term 1 select evaluation as unit as 1 you can keep it as all or you can select a particular subject it's your wish click on get test check whether you have created all the test or not any doubts sir or ma'am here so this will be created by a class teacher ma'am yes ma'am for all the subjects yes ma'am okay thank you Any doubts? Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, is the app uh, like differently visible on mobile and on the laptop? Are there different versions? Uh, like ma'am, on mobile we cannot see uh, these uh, like options. Uh, are you able to log in, ma'am? Yes, I am able to log in, but I cannot see these options which are available here. Under gradebook, you cannot see create test. I cannot see uh, great book also. I'm logged in, but I if you want, I can share the screen. Or else, ma'am, uh, you can just a second. Mm. One second. There might be a uh, some restrictions as well. Okay. And what about the software? If we download it through Apple Store, like uh, will it work? Because Bal Bharati yeah. uh, School Bhopal is not shown in those options when well, we are downloading. It will be. Software. It will be not visible, ma'am. It will only uh, will be visible as Bal Bharati Gangara. Gangara. Okay, Gangara. so we can do it under uh, under that option. Yeah, yeah. You can just okay. log in with your. Uh, yeah, everything is enabled. Is enabled. Is enabled. Okay, and then I'll log log out, and then then again I'll log in. You are a staff, or uh, you are access level staff, or class teacher, ma'am. It depends on that also. If it is a staff, it will mm -hmm. not be visible. But okay. if it is a class teacher, it will be visible. Okay. 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 Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Any doubts, anyone, regarding the test creations? Any doubts, ma'am, in the test creation? Vijaya, ma'am, you were ma asking something. Yes, Radhika, ma'am, I was. Uh, you did my uh, login with the uh, with my mobile, but I am not able to login with my laptop. Link, ठीक से डाले, ma'am. Bbps. dot myclass. dot dot com Ma'am, that I have already done, but it is showing invalid credentials. ऐसा नहीं होगा मैम या तो लिंक आप ठीक से डालना पड़ेगा या तो एंटर कॉपी पेस्ट मत कीजिए एंटर कीजिए एक बार टेस्ट क्रिएशंस किसी को भी कोई डाउट नहीं है तो कैन शैल आई प्रोसीड हाउ अ टीचर कैन एंटर दी मार्क्स ओके या ओके सर सो मैम इफ पॉसिबल कैन वी रिकॉर्ड दिस मीटिंग मैम एक्चुअली मेरी आई डी से यह रिकॉर्डिंग का ऑप्शन नहीं है हाउ अ टीचर कैन एंटर दी मैथ्स बिफोर दैट आई जस्ट टेल अस इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेप दैट यू हैव दैट टीचर हैव टू डू इट फ्रॉम देर एंड uh once you do the test creations 
you next is uh, you have to make sure whether your uh, the students are assigned to the subjects or not so basically the general subjects that are mandatory subjects uh, like math science and social these subjects will be assigned automatically whereas the language subjects and optional subjects a teacher has to assign it to the students because we don't know uh, which student is studying which uh, which optional subject or which language subject so i'll just tell you that step you have to follow the same go to grade book under grade book you will find assign languages option under grade book please click on assign languages and you click on assign languages so under assigning languages only you can assign optional subjects and language subjects to the students under grade book go to assign languages select the class for which class you are assigning suppose i am selecting third a please select subject wise only click on get language subjects once you click on get language subjects your students will be visible like you can see i am highlighting here your subjects will be visible here against that subject and against that class english 0 out of 40 which means uh no student is assigned yet how you can assign it and against each subject you will find assign or unassigned students manually option okay select that assign or unassigned students once you select assign or unassigned here you will find your student list uh, for example we will not talk about the english subject if you have any optional subject that is uh, art art education only few students are studying so you can select select only those students at one go okay just select those students only who are studying that particular subject if all the students are studying the subjects for suppose english english is mandatory subject and everyone need to study it so here you in the column you will find a small check box select that check box students uh, will be assigned okay will be selected all the students will be selected again click on assign or unassign subjects to students so like this you you have assigned 40 out of 40 students okay i'll just tell you again the process go to grade book select assign languages select the class click on get language subjects the subjects will be visible against each subject you will find assign or unassign students manually select assign or unassign students here select the students again click on assign or unassign students that's it the students will be assigned any doubts ma'am how to assign the students to the subjects ma'am this will be done in class 11th and 12th for all the classes you have to it ma'am languages and everything okay means uh, six ma onwards from one up from, from class one from even from uh, pre primary as well so these the steps you are showing that is that is to be done by class teachers yeah class teachers so this is a very uh, confusing process you are telling that class teachers how class teachers will be able to do all this it's your wish ma'am if our admin staff can do it and admin can do it or a class teacher also can do it why okay. we are we have given this step for class teachers because the class the class teachers only know uh, the students in their class they are studying in which subject which optional subject or which language subject but Only we have uh, already uh, fr from admin side we have already assigned the branch subjects to all the classes like in That's sixth class which subjects students are learning so again yes. there is a need to assign uh, every yes. subject to all the students yes ma'am it's not so like that this will be done uh, in uh, one exam or in every exam this is one time setup ma'am okay this it is will go on for uh, so whole academic year so, yeah. so i think this should be done from admin side so that there will be less chances of mistakes yeah you can do it then ma'am okay so uh, if teacher login 
if class teacher uh, log in it and uh, make changes on that then it will be done uh, it will be saved accordingly okay yeah okay they can do the changes as well it's uh, it's your wish ma'am if admin can do it you can do it or the class teachers want to do it they can do it okay 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 okay, okay. Ma'am, one thing more. Uh, like teachers want to see that. Uh, tell them uh, what will be the first screen when they log in. Like as a class teacher or as a subject teacher. So mm -hmm. actually, everyone is new to this platform. So how it will be when once they log in? Yes, yes. And so how to log? In? Yes. And ma'am, uh, Ridhima ma'am, please make sure na ki all the subject teachers, sorry, who whoever is the class teacher na, yes ma'am, their access level need to be changed as class teacher here. Okay, okay, that okay? I will do. Okay. Yeah, if you do it, uh, when once they log in, they can change it. I'll show you how to. In the HR, when you come to staff details, click on create staff details. The staff will be visible. Against the staff. Just click on edit basic details. Select the details here. Suppose I'm just selecting anything. Here in the in this access level, please select last teacher one. Okay. 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 Click on next. Okay. So this is uh I'll take uh huh. So, which I'm highlighting is the your username and password. Just open it. I'll just log in. I'm entering bbps dot myclassboard dot com. Once you enter it, this will be the login page. Enter your username here, and the same will be the password. What is the username? The same is the password. Click on login. Once you log in, this page will appear. Just click on proceed. Once you click on proceed, once you click on proceed, once you click on proceed, here you can see SIS and Gradebook module. So you can just click on SIS. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But ma I just stuck here only. Once we are just entering our username and the password, mm -hmm. but it is showing invalid credentials, ma'am. Please help us in this only. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, why are you name? showing that? Ma'am, may I know your name? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Vijaya ah. Chaudhary. Sorry, ma'am. Vijaya Chaudhary. Vidya, Vidya Chaudhary. Okay. I'll just try to log in from your end okay, with your username. Okay, ma'am. One second. I'm able to log in, ma'am. Please make sure what link you're giving. I'll do one thing. I have dropped the I have dropped the link in the chat. You can take this link. With this link, you log in and please enter correct username and password. I I am able to log in, ma'am. Vijay, ma'am. I am able to log in. Once, please make sure the link and the username and password you are entering. Okay. Okay. Uh, next, I'll proceed. How a teacher can enter the marks? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I am not getting the, the screen which you showed just now. Uh, which this one, ma'am? I am getting this screen, ma'am. This screen, your the getting? left one. Ah, the left one. I am getting. Ah. Uh, this uh, Nitika, ma'am. If you don't mind, can I share the screen and show you what we are getting? Actually, I am also not getting this option of uh, 
these four boxes. One second, ma'am. I have stopped presenting it. Can oh. you share this? Yes, yes, sure. This is the screen we are getting. Ma'am, uh, select desktop version. Okay, we will get it after desk desktop. Desktop version. Okay, okay, fine then. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um. So now I'll just show how a teacher can enter the maths. So once a teacher does a test creation, go to grade book. Under grade book, you will find scholastic test marks entry. Select under grade book. Select scholastic test marks entry. Select the class here. Any class, the class that you are assigned. Term one. Subject. Click on get. Once you click on get, you will find two options: enter marks, upload marks. First, I'll tell you how to enter the marks. Uh, this is one step of entering the marks. Upload marks is the another step. How you can do it? Just select the test here. Okay. Click on proceed to enter marks. Go to test marks entry. Select the class. Select the term. Select the subject. Click on get. Select the evaluation as evaluation one. Select here again the evaluation one. Select proceed to enter marks. Once you click on proceed to enter marks, your students will be visible. Just you can enter the marks accordingly. Once you enter the marks, click on save. Click on save. Once you click on save, the marks will be saved for the student. So this is an option to enter the marks. There is another option. Go back. You will find upload marks option. Select that upload marks. Same process. Select the test. Click on proceed to upload marks. Here you will find view the file format option that I am highlighting here. Click on view the file format. An Excel sheet will be downloaded. If you click on view the file format, an Excel sheet will be downloaded. Open that Excel sheet. Once you click on Excel sheet, open the Excel sheet. Your students list will be visible in the Excel sheet. Your test name will be visible here. You can enter the marks at one go. Save the sheet. Just click. Just save the sheet. Come here. Choose the file, upload to validate. That's it. The marks will be uploaded. Okay, ma'am. Any doubt, ma'am? How to upload the marks or enter the marks? Ma'am, now teachers can start doing marks entry. Yes, ma'am. First they have to do the test creation, then they can enter the marks. Okay, so class teacher will do test creation for their subject teachers. Yes. And then subject teachers will start uh, entering marks. Entering the marks. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. And uh, what about consolidated uh, consolidated sheets? Is class teacher can able to take you it? Will, or, yes. Or yes. Any? I'll just show you, ma'am. They can check it, ma'am. Okay. okay. So, uh, where I'll tell you, under analysis, under analysis tab, you will find consolidated mark sheet. Okay. Select that consolidated mark sheet now. Select the class. Click on show report. Now, once you click on show report, now your details will be visible here. Consolidated sheet will be visible. You can convert this to Excel sheet. Okay. Is it okay, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Even this is one option, or else you can take an uh, evaluation marks analysis here. 
if you just click on evaluation or test wise analysis report if you just go to analysis you will find a test wise analysis select the class select the section evaluation 1 academic subjects sub select all the subjects check whether you have selected all select the test all select all the test select the format you can you have two formats here you have your filtering option the marks you only you just want to see you can just select that you can just uh, click that check mark click on get once you click on get a report will be generated here see evaluation 1 english 15 marks obtained you can convert it to excel okay ma'am you can go to analysis analysis test wise analysis report or consolidated mark sheet okay ma'am do you have any doubts in this Any doubts, ma? Teachers, any doubt in test creations or mark entry? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Um, I just want to ask one thing: if uh, marks of any subject is missing, then where we can check uh, without going to analysis and consolidated mark sheet? Is there any option if we can check? Uh, that is only the option, ma'am. Where you can check it whether the marks are updated. Consolidated marks. Consolidated marks. Sheet only. Ma'am, yeah. one thing more. Like that, ma'am. If a student, any student is absent or uh, on leave, or if uh, not uh, not given any exam, then how to enter uh, uh, that also in? Uh, ma'am, in the scholastic test mark entry, when you go, one second, I'll just show you. <laughs> and here there is a note see uh, you can choose anything you keep a common letter here okay small a or ab absent or l means absent or else am for medical leave ex means exempted dp means deemed present na means not applicable so uh, here we have given so many options you can just select any particular letter any common letter Um, amongst you, only enter that particular letter in the text area. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Is it okay? Any doubts, ma? इनवेलिड क्रेडेंशियल तो नहीं आएंगे आप एंटर करके देखिए एनी टीचर हैज एनी डाउट यू कैन जस्ट स्पिंग टू रिजमा मैम मैं रिजमा मैम मुझसे कॉन्टेक्ट करेंगे आपकी जो भी इशूज है अगेन सारे इस टीचर का अगर फिर से कोई इशूज है वी कैन जस्ट अगेन कनेक्टेड ठीक है यस मैम थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू